So a lot of people say, you know, Super C's are really nice and all, but why have it four by four if it's just a regular chassis? Check this out. This is the Jayco Seneca XT. This comes with the J-Ride Premium Upfit. Consists of these nice Firestone tires, nice wheels, a two inch BDS suspension lift, high performance Coney shocks, heavy duty front and rear stabilizer bars. And it's hard to see, but in the back here, you've got Hellwig helper springs. Driver delivered this. He was blown away by how nice it handled. Okay, let's check out these bays. So inside here, they've got this nice like diamond plating. You do have some pass through, but because of the four wheel drive and the rear drive axle, you have this box right here. Bay number two, more storage. Bay number three, more storage. Bay number four has got some propane. And number five, more storage. Last one, storage off to admire this beautiful rear cap and this great paint also you got a tow hitch here's your water heater and down here we've got power station and storage nautilus plumbing system low point drains more storage here there's your inverter here's your gray tank pull death fluid and batteries you know what i like slide out tray for the batteries. These are really hard to get in and out, but that tray is gonna help you out. Over here, over the cap, you've got this nice molded one piece fiberglass cap. LED pods built right in. Fender flares, and look at this aggressive CTA steel bumper. Really gives it that off-road look. Some more Pathfinder pods down here. The way these close, solid. Solid, so solid. Before we go inside, take a look at this awning. You know what I like? It goes over the door. Sometimes they stop over here. It goes over the door. I like that. Okay, let's check out the inside. Here at the entry door, you have a gigantic window so you can see who's knocking. And they actually included a blind, which some of them don't. So that's just open all the time. Up over the cab, we have this spacious bunk rated at 750 pounds. Some of this molded plastic storage, big windshield, cup holders, USBs, all kinds of good stuff. Excuse the packaging and tape, this came straight from the factory. We have a four-seater dinette. This is a new upgraded, kind of like an ultra leather material. It's a really nice upgrade over the vinyl I've seen a lot. Two seat belts here, two seat belts here two seat belts here. So two in the front, four, six, eight people can ride. You also have car seat tethers. So if you got some babies, you can bring them along. Another thing I really like is the TV on a televator. So you can have a window or a TV, whatever you happen to want that day. Galley, you've got some storage down below. Good size. You could put pots, pans. Oh, look at this. They put drawers in behind there, that's nice. Below the sink, a little more storage, and a bit more here. It's pretty good use of space in my opinion. Then you have your flip up counter extension. Sink has covers, so these are your solid surface covers. And look at this, it's like a black sink. That actually looks pretty nice. Your faucet is this, you know, pewter type material. And look at this, I've never seen this before. This is actually like just a hose instead of a spring, just a slinky hose. It's kind of cool. Moving on down, you've got the pop-up power station, nice size window, Furion induction cooktop, convection oven, more storage up here with an extra plug. 
Coming on down, we have the Firefly Multiplex. So, we've got all our lights, our generator, with auto gen start. So what does this do? If the voltage gets low, it'll start the generator and charge the batteries. If you set HVAC load, let's say you left your dog in the vehicle. If it gets too hot, it'll run the generator, cool the unit, turn itself off. That way, if you're boondocking with pets, you're out for a hike, it gets a bit too hot. You don't have to worry about whoever's left inside the unit. Into the bedroom. So you've got to slide out on the bed. So you have to fold this down. And you've got, I'd say about a queen. And you've got walk around space on both sides if somebody has to pee. The mattress is very thick, very soft. It's not your typical RV mattress. Windows, one, two, three windows with reading lights. And this storage goes all the way down. So you can fit oversized items up there. Inside the closet, you have these mirrors, obviously. There's a little dresser in here. Good place to keep the socks and undies. Also a mount for your ladder that'll go for the bunk. Hanging racks. Good sized closet. This could be great for an extended trip. When you're laying in bed, you do have a TV as well. And that takes us to the bathroom. First, let's check out this closet by the bathroom. Three drawers, adjustable shelves, and a hanging rod, just in case you want to make it a coat closet. Coming into the bathroom, we have a vanity with three drawers. We get a water filter in there. Three cabinets. Nice, solid surface countertops. More that dark sink, pewter faucet. Then you've got your medicine cabinet. Don't have to have your toiletries all over the counter. Got a window right next to the potty and that'll open. So you can twist this open, get some fresh air in here. You also have a fan and this nice shower. So you've got this adjustable wand, place to put your soap, good square footage. I'd give this an A for a shower. Coming on to the camp side, we got these two things right here. Give this a pull. Nice slide out storage. That's a great little pull out pantry. Now I happen to like this a lot. This is a propane electric fridge and freezer. So this is the four door, so it can run on shore power or propane because the buyer for this is likely a boondocker. And finally, this little sofa here has seat belts and it will fold down into an extra little bed. So a kid or somebody small could lay there. Up above there, we have three cabinets and you do have some plugins here. This thing really has too many options to list. You know, it has the inverter, hydraulic auto leveling jacks. I could go on and on and all day, all day long. I just wanted to give you a quick look and show you what's new in the market. This is the Jayco Seneca XT. And I think right now, this is the best 4x4 Super C in the market. I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, I'm happy to help or even make a follow-up technical video. Have a great day.